I'm Ashling Shannon and I work for the structures section within the technical directorate. I work full time on a project called Earthcare, which is this spacecraft. Hey, my name is Brian Short. I'm an applied physicist in the Future Missions office here at the European Space Agency. And I work on the development of enabling technologies for future space science missions. My name is Janice Patterson. I'm working on the Sentinel-2 project. I'm responsible for the system operations and the optical communications payload. My name is James Geary. I'm, a, I'm the product assurance manager on, uh, on, a, on a program called uh, MTG, a Meteorological uh, Mission. My name is Eamon Daly. I'm the head of the Space Environments and Effects section here at ESTEC to uh, help with the design and uh, construction of satellites to make sure they survive the space environment. Hey, my name is Cahal Noni. I'm a materials engineer and here I support uh, the materials projects in relation to development, ongoing analysis and ongoing project support. Yes, yes. I think from a very early age I knew what I wanted to be. I always felt that I um, uh, wanted to do something in engineering. I think I wanted to be a pilot. For sure I have a, 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 an interest in space and, and, and what happens and I think uh, personally speaking I can say that uh, I've had it from a young age because my own uh, dad is an amateur astronomer. Uh, I realised I suppose when I was about 11 or 12 that uh, science was what really interested me and I went to the library one day and I decided to work al alphabetically through all the sciences and I started with A for astronomy and uh, the first book I, I read on astronomy was by Patrick Moore and this really blew me away. I was totally uh, absorbed by this and uh, I realised then that uh, this was something I wanted to do. I knew I really liked maths and technical subjects much more than writing, history, all those kind of subjects. My mother was always trying to think of things to do with me during the summers. And she sent me to a science camp at the RDS. And I remember one day we went, we walked from the RDS to UCD Physics. And somebody there in physics did a demonstration of uh, levitation with liquid nitrogen, a superconducting magnet. And that for me was if I ever had a moment where I thought, science was cool, that was the moment. So I came from a propulsion background, uh, but, but in this role you are maybe, uh, you're not an expert in any one aspect, uh, but you, you, have to, you have to be kind of, uh, know a lot, an, awful lot of, an awful lot about uh, different, different, different subjects. But there are a lot of great ideas uh, being investigated and there's a lot of nice research and development work uh, going on in, uh, in many different countries in Europe. It's the, the European atmosphere here is, is very special and uh, it's nice to be trying to build a, a commonality in Europe and uh, uh, bring Europe together towards one goal. I think what I like the most is the fact that it is quite dynamic. There's lots of interfacing with uh, external people, uh, external entities. We've uh, contact with the uh, uh, space agency in Germany, DLR, there's quite a lot of travel, possibly um, well, two to three times a month, so it's quite, it's quite intense. I like the international uh, area, I like the arena, I like the development that we're working in a multicultural society and in a European society. I enjoy being involved in everything, being able to see that even though we might only be working on a small part on the spacecraft, that it, it builds up and that bit has to be right in order for the next bit to be right and it, it kind of flows, the whole thing flows together so it's nice to be involved at every level. I, I feel deeply that what I'm doing is worthwhile, that I'm making a contribution and that for me is the important part. Uh, I'm enabling the dreams of the space scientists because those are the people who really want to answer the questions about you know, the evolution of the universe. Uh, the best advice is to study hard, uh, to be focused and concentrated just in the initial uh, years to say I'm, I, I, I want and I think that technology is a good career. Talk to people, send a few emails, be, um, be approachable and, and open to, uh, to asking questions. I mean you can't go wrong if you study physics, uh, math, maybe chemistry, engineering, uh, those are the, the core skills I think for the part of the, the work that we do.